Hello everyone, so today we are going to see how we can perform image segmentation using the 3D slicer tool. So I have opened up the documentation of from the 3D slicer people who have created the software. You can go through this documentation and read through the different options or tools they provide for segmentation. So today we are going to explore different ways of segmentation starting off with manually segmenting out the regions. Then we'll uh, go towards the semi-automatic way and then finally we are going to see how we can use AI to perform automatic segmentation. So let's start. First of all, we'll go to the 3D slicer tool. Next, we need some data on which we need to perform segmentation, right? So we are going to click on this uh, download sample data because it's easier to demonstrate this way. And I'm going to use this MR head image. Uh, this is the first image. Simply click on it and it will display something like this. So. Uh, to perform segmentation, we have two different uh, things or windows that we'll require. The first one is this the uh, is this one, the segment editor, and another one is segmentation. Segment editor allows us to edit and create and perform different sorts of segmentation and delineate and segment out different regions. Uh, on the other hand, using segmentations, we can visualize it in 3D manner and see how we can uh, look into the tumor region in a 3D format. So first of all, we are going to click on the segment editor button. In the segment editor, we are going to delineate two different regions. The first one is this artifacts. This contains the eye socket area, the back of the neck and the side view. And another region that we are going to delineate is the brain region. So I'm going to add two different segmentations that I want to generate. The first one, I'll name it other because I want to segment out the artifacts and the other one is the brain one. We can also go ahead and change the colors to make sure that it works um, to our liking. So for example, I want to make this other region a bit neon green like color. That's my preference. You can set it however you like. And the other brain region, I think the color of the brain region looks just fine. I'll leave it that way. To start off, we have the first option. The first option is to perform manual segmentation. For manual segmentation, we have three tools. The first one is the paint tool and another one is draw and then we have eraser to erase any mistake that we make while we are performing segmentation. This type of segmentation becomes very handy when we are working with segmenting out tumor regions because in one MRI, we have we might have two or three different lesions that we want to segment out, right? So we can use these manual segmentation tools to make sure that all the tumor regions are delineated accurately. To start off, we can use this pain tool. In the pain tool, um, initially the diameter is set to 3%. It, the size of it looks something like this. If we try to drag it, we'll see. It also shows us in the 3D view what we are doing. But just by clicking on this uh, show 3D button, we can visualize how it looks like in 3D form. We can also increase the diameter of this paint tool like this and then use it. As you can see, it has become much larger. It allows us to cover larger areas. And if we want to do precise segmentation, we can use the diameter of one so that we can perform, you know, precise segmentation and delineate precise regions like this. Okay, if we make some mistake, we can simply click on the Z button and it would undo our mistake. And if we want to redo something, we can click on the Y button, uh, press on the Y button. So these are the three options that we have when we are working with manual segmentation. The second one allows us to draw. For example, if I move to the next slide, I can simply draw using my mouse or a uh, trackpad whatever you have and once i'm satisfied with the shape i can simply press enter and it will generate the image something like this so we can use these two tools to make manual segmentation and if we make some mistake we can simply use the eraser same as um, just like the paint uh, version we can also increase the diameter of the eraser like this and we can erase our mistakes for example i want to erase this entire region i can do something like this um, like this slide and in the previous slide I'm going to remove these regions because I'm, now we are going to move towards semi-automatic segmentation I'm going to show you how we can achieve that so to perform semi-automatic segmentation we have these two regions already created right firstly we have to click on this threshold button 
this allows us basically provides us with the regions that we want to threshold i want to threshold and segment out the other parts so i'm going to click on the other button then we can simply move this cursor or move this uh, uh, sort of bar thing to adjust the segmentation threshold that we want i want to set it to this one we are simply going to click on apply button it has applied to it okay so this also shows us the 3d view as well of what is happening next we are going to click on this island button and keep the selected region we um, only want to keep the regions outside and we're not concerned with the brain region because we want to segment out it using the brain right so we are simply going to click on this once we click on this button as you can see it has delineated the brain region and we are only left with the artifacts next we are going to click on this margin button this looks something like this and we need to click on grow this would grow and provide us with all the regions that we want to delineate regarding the art artifacts once we are um, satisfied with this step the next thing is to click on the brain button because now we want to delineate the brain we are simply going to click on this eraser um, or on this scissor button sorry and then we need to select this fill inside option and then in this editable area we are going to select outside all segments so once we are done with it we can double uh, we can double click on it to zoom into this image or we can simply work like this just we need to just segment out this brain region because this is what we require with the brain so like this and then we have to click enter once we have done this next thing is to click on the margin button okay and then we can click on shrink because we want to delineate this from this region we can simply click on shrink and apply once we are done with it we are going to select this island button click this selected region and click this would give us this region right once we are done with this step we are going to go to the margins option again and this time we are going to select the grow option and then apply as you can see this has provided us with the entire region of the brain and we are not left with any other artifacts this yellowish region shows us the brain and this green shows us the artifacts finally once we are done with it we can click on this show 3d button which was already clicked it would take some time and then provide you with this option so to visualize the segmentation we can go to the segmentation button here we have different options through which we can change the visualization as you can see we could also see how we can do these slice outline and then to visualize this 3d form we can simply do this as you can see if i do something like this we can also keep on changing and seeing how visible we want this to be right and then if we go towards this do we have two options right what if i only want to visualize the brain we can simply click on this i button to undo this and now we are left with the brain region if i increase this you can see this is the brain region that we have these are all the slices that we have generated using the semi-automatic method rather than doing manual segmentation on this type of mri to delineate the brain region we can simply go to these uh, semi-automatic methods which provide us with the brain slices in a much more effective and efficient manner there would be some mistakes as you can see there are some regions that are outside the brain that this also provides this is because we are using a semi-automatic method and there are different errors and chances of errors that can occur so to make sure that we do not get any unwanted region and we are only left with the brain region we can go towards a fully automatic way or ai segmentation modules that this tool provides so in the next section we are going to explore how we can use ai based segmentation to perform fully at automatic segmentation of the brain for fully automatic segmentation we require to install extensions into this tool for this we have to simply click on this extension icon over here 
this will provide us with different options to choose from and also shows us how many extensions we have downloaded here you can see you can download and install different segmentations if you are working with heart related problems you can install this airway segmentation you can go on and install different sorts of uh, extension depending upon the problem you are solving so i am working for um, i am looking for a, an extension that allows me to segment out the brain region for that we have different tools available for example we can use the monai label segmentation or the hd brain segmentation i'm going to install the hd tool today so simply type hd and it will show us these two options we have to install this hd brain extraction simply click on install it might require you to install some other libraries as well for example pytorch and everything i already have it installed in my system so that's why i'm simply going to install this and it doesn't take so much time as you can see while i was telling you it has already installed so here you can see we have this module over here once we are done with it we might need to restart the tool because we need to make sure that the after the tool has been installed we have to restart the tool so simply click on this restart button it will take some time to restart it so i'll get back to the screen once it restarts now we are all set to use this tool we have to because we have restarted the uh, 3d slicer tool we need to import the sample again we have imported it something like this now instead of going through all these steps and performing different operations we can simply click on the search button it allows us to search through different extensions that we have installed we can simply write hd and it would show this option we can switch to this module as it looks something like this next we have these two options the first option will provide us with the skull stripped brain region which looks exactly like this and another option provides us with the mask image this becomes very handy when we are working with a problem where we have multiple mris already available we can what we can do is we can segment one them one by one using this extension we can save the brain segmentations or the masks of it and also the skull stripped volume and then we can use this uh, brain mask to train the model so that it is ready and then we can perform different predictions on it uh, on uh, on draw mris and then extract the brain regions um, it allows us to save more time and we don't have to come to this tool again and again for um, other mris that we might get in the future we can use a collective cohort of them for example we can use 50 to 60 patients data we can extract the brain regions of them save the brain mask and then use those brain masks to train the mo machine learning model so that it can predict brain from the raw mris in the later in the in the, in the future for example so, okay so we need to select some name for it we can click on this click, uh, create new volume button and then we can also create new segmentation as this so once we are satisfied with the name that we have decided we can click on this advanced button it allows us to select different gpus if they are available in your system i am going to select this gpu zero option and then simply click apply okay so it takes some time to extract out the brain region it might take one to two minutes or five to ten minutes depending upon the size of your mri for example if you have an mri which have uh, uh, which has five twelve slices or six hundred or eight hundred slices it would take around five to ten minutes using this tool depending upon the speed of your system so i'm going to fast forward this process and wait until this segmentation is done okay so it took some time and as we can see it has accu accurately segmented out the regions if you look something like this and once we are satisfied with the regions that we have generated we can simply save it and then use it later so if i try to go towards this uh, segmentation button and look at the 3d version as you can see this is much more detailed version of the brain and it provides us with the brain extracted region and we don't have to perform different segmentation and other segmentation for these other artifacts it has already delineated it so once we are satisfied with the output we can simply save it by clicking on the save button it would show us different options we want to save this mr head image and the segmentation image we 
if you required these two you can save them but i do not require them so that's why i'm not saving them this is the original image if you want to save it again you can if you don't want to you can also uncheck this other than that you can also make sure that you if you want to save uh, the segmentations using different options or formats you can click on this button and as you can see it provides us with different options depending upon what kind of work you are doing you can click on this nifty format as well and then you can also save this segmentation as dot set dot nrid next you can also select where you want to save it so for example if you want to select the path you can simply i want to simply save it in the image samples folder i'm going to create another one in which i'm going to name it something like this you can do whatever you like for example i want to name it skull strip and I want to make sure that my images get saved over here so I'm going to go back to this tool again and now I have this folder I'll click open same is the case with this one I'm going to select this path for this MRI as well okay so once I'm satisfied with where I want to save these samples I can simply click on save and it would save my images that I've generated using this uh, the, using the fully automatic method. So one last thing before wrapping up, we can also visualize this mask using different ways. As we covered in the earlier tutorials as well, we can simply click on the view controller button. Here you can see it provides us with different um, options for all the three views. We can simply click on it like this and it is it will show us with an array, uh, array of options. Here you can see that I have selected the MR head mask that have been generated using the AI base segmentation tool. You can simply remove it from the view by clicking on this I button or if I want to visualize it, you can do something like this. Next, if I only want to visualize the boundary of it and not the entire brain mask, I can click on this option that toggles between the segmentation outline. And if I click on it, as you can see now, I'm left only with the outline. If I click on it again, I will see it in a complete view without the boundary. And if I click on it again, it will show me the brain mask along with the boundary. So these are the different options that we can use when we are working with the segmentation tools and we want to uh, see how the boundary would look like. This becomes very handy when we are segmenting or delineating different tumor regions we want to make sure that the boundary of one tumor is not overlapping with the boundary of the other tumor so all this becomes very handy using this tool so thank you so much for uh, staying i hope you like this video and see you in the next one